Now, for those that are, as you were saying, maybe not at that um, maturity level or, or mm -hmm. do we, do we just keep posting things, talking about it and, you know, and not, not just things going on in the world, but even um, doing spiritual work or whatever. Do, do we keep just kind of putting it out there and, because I'm, I'm sure things are happening in their lives and some of them may reach a point where you can't ignore it anymore. Right. You know, or maybe something happens in there, some sort of shift and now you are ready. So we just keep putting it out there. Yeah. I mean, why not? I, there's billions of them, this is over I mean, I mean, it's not a hopeless situation. Right. <laughs> right. I mean, I can't, I can't think of a reason not to. Because if you don't put it out there, there's, there's no chance of anybody coming across something you would put out there that may, you know, lead to a shift for them. If you don't even show up, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. If you do show up and you keep putting it out there, the only thing you risk is people thinking that you're weird or crazy and what do you care? You can't impact how someone's going to view you anyway. Whether you do it or don't, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. And if our concern is how we're viewed, then we are so far off track as far as what we are here to do. I mean, that's, that's got to stop. Yeah. You know, we've got millions of people here on the planet who really are, we're here <laughs> to be the, the mouthpiece for the heart. That's what we're here to do. Like to, to show humanity. No, there's a, there's another way that we can function <laughs> a better way. But if we don't rise up and say, look, this isn't okay. Like you're doing this whole thing over here and it's not, it's hurtful. It's not okay. Like there has to be a voice. And I think that that's, there are people in place who are very much the voice, you know, all the people who volunteer for all these amazing organizations around the world that stand up for human rights, who stand up for uh, the ecology of the planet and stand up for better ways of banking, like all of it. It's all super important. And I think what happens with a lot of people uh, who are on their spiritual path though, is somehow they get it in there that because I'm on a spiritual path, I shouldn't engage in all of that. And what I'm saying is that's complete crap. <laughs> of course you should. Why, why shouldn't you? You, you are moving to a, a space where you'll be the perfect person to engage in it because at a certain point you won't have a personal agenda. So the people who engage by and large do it because of their personal agenda. And for you, it'll be beyond that. It's right action. Mm. That's powerful. Right action is a very powerful thing. Very, very powerful. And when Mil I mean, thousands of us or millions of us come together as a voice for the heart. The opposing side can't just brush it off anymore. They can brush you off when you're tens of thousands. But when you're millions speaking as one voice, it's not that easy. And that's what it, that's what it needs to come to. I mean, for years now, well, you know our story, right? Starting back with like, the concept of create a new world for years. It's been about how do we engage groups of people? Let it stop being about this is my group and this is your group. Like who cares who owns the group? It doesn't matter. The point is let's get us all corralled so we can all function as one unit. You know, maybe it is just sitting in meditation, holding space for 10 minutes or something, but can we all function as a unit outside of any of the identifiers just show up and be in our hearts. And that's what we have to do. You know, it's just that even people in the spiritual community are still very attached to this is mine and I don't want to give it up or I don't want to like, you know, you'd have a lot of people probably, I don't want to give my power away or like well, whatever that is. It's crazy, but that's what's going on, you know, and it has to become impersonal. We're here to speak as the heart, not as any identified human being. I mean, that's, that's so not why we're here. But that's where we have to head. I mean, we, and we really do. The time is now. 
Mm. It, it truly is. I mean, how, how much worse does it have to get before humanity rises up and says, no more. This is ridiculous. Now, can I ask this? Because I, I do know of several people that want to help out very, very badly, but then they end up starting their own nonprofit. Uh huh. Right. And, you know, which is great, but, you know, it's not easy to get a nonprofit going. And I, right. I feel like there's so many nonprofits out there, like, yep. one. Yeah. And add your energy to that, you know, instead of trying to reinvent the wheel. But when you were saying that everybody wants to have their own, you know, I wonder, like, is that your reasoning behind it? Why you have to start your own nonprofit when there's already a bunch of them out there, all, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that are. Sure. When of course that's all just the ego and, mm -hmm. and it's easy to hide. It hides very well behind the, but I was given a vision, right? <laughs> like it's mine. <laughs> mm -hmm. And what we can't see is a lot of us have been given that vision, <laughs> you know, and your vision isn't necessarily any different from someone else's vision. And it's given out to see how it can come into manifestation because each person's choices are certainly going to dictate how quickly it comes in or if it ever does manifest or however it works. But then the ego gets involved and the ego, you know, it experiences a bit of feeling special because it had, it was given the vision and you know, whatever that is. So I feel like it's mine and I have to do it. And your point is very well taken. It would make a whole lot more sense if rather than feeling like we've got to run the show and start a whole new one. Let's just find one to align ourselves with. And maybe you have a whole group of people already be like, well, so let's just find another group and see if we can't kind of come in together. Why not? But that's that whole part of the ego that needs to feel like it has control and it has, you know, more power. And that's, that's all of that. It's all of that. It'd be so much cooler if we all had, you know, and it's natural to have someone like one person is very good at uh, like taking on the role of a leader. And of course, so those people are going to stand out and people will want to follow them. That's great. But who's to say that an organization should only have one leader? <laughs> Why couldn't an organization have multiple leaders and have them scattered all over the place? So they all function ultimately as one unit. You know, and that makes sense to me. Why wouldn't it? Um, versus the hierarchical way that we view things where here's your top person and maybe there's a couple underneath it and then a few more and it keeps getting bigger going down. Well, why does it have to be that way? I just, that doesn't make sense to me. Uh, so yeah, if, if more people would engage from that space, um, I think that would be good. And that's what we were really trying to do with Add Your Energy was to say that, you know, this is this is something that's here for everyone that's owned by no one. <laughs> like it's so not about that. So let's engage with as many groups as we can get on board and say, you know what, take, let's take whatever it is we're going to do. And you can go ahead and market it as if it's your own. And I don't care. What do I care? Do it. Pretend it's yours and you pretend it's yours and you pretend it's yours. Let's just get everybody to do the same thing at the same time. So it's effective. <laughs> it doesn't have to be mine. I don't care. I just want people to engage. That's all that matters. So, you know, maybe someone will hear this and <laughs> at some point and go, wow, that really makes sense. <laughs> we can hope. But that's what needs to happen. Let's just bring groups together from all over. You can still be your group and you can still own it and you can still market it under your own name and do whatever you want to do. But can we all just do it together so that we have more impact? You know, energetically, there's exponentially more impact if we can group together in, in doing things. So.